Hello, everyone. I am Jose Betancourt, and welcome to Cheese, a photography podcast. I want to thank everyone for the great feedback that I received for my first episode. Now, as I said it before, I have been podcasting for over 13 years, and I have a lot of experience in podcasting, but I never focused solely on photography before. And this is a whole new realm for me. I am not an expert. And for that, I want to talk about my introduction to photography. In high school, in 1987, I believe, I signed up for a photography course in high school. Now, I went to John F. Kennedy High School in the Bronx. They had a dedicated photography class. This involved building a camera out of cardboard, taking the photo, knowing uh, about shutter speed, exposure, all that, you know, all the basics that we're taught to learn when taking photography. But here's the kicker. We had to learn how to develop our own film. They had a dark room in the back, which was really awesome. And by the way, those chemicals, I could still smell them. They were very bad. But the whole experience was so, so epic. And watching my photos come to life was just something that drew me into photography instantly. Now, unfortunately, that program was canceled after my first quarter of being in that program. After that, I took up typing. They cut that as well. So as you can see, there was a trend beginning to form. But what that taught me, that limited time I had in that photography course in high school, was that I could be creative in the most unimaginable way. Because I never knew I could make a, a, a camera out of cardboard, and it required a flap. You open the flap. Of course, you got to have film inside. You open the flap for as long as you want. You close it, and then you hope for the best. You had to take into account the amount of light that was available to you and what the subject was doing, whether they were moving or standing still. Now, we were doing portraits, so it was a lot easier to open the flap and determine when we wanted to close the flap. And, and as I stated before, developing my own prints, not even prints, film as well. We had to take the film out. Put it in its chemicals, let it sit for a while, and then when we were ready, we would pick the photos we wanted, we would cut them up into little strips, and then choose the photo we wanted to make an actual print out of, and then run run the printing paper or the, the photo paper, excuse me, in the chemicals, move them around for a bit, and then you start to see everything develop in front of you, and it was amazing. Now that piqued my interest into photography but growing up i didn't have the luxury of actually owning a really good camera yes we had a little kodak camera where you had certain amount of flash bulbs available and once those ran out you had to buy more uh, it was the really thin film that you had to buy uh really old and so once in a blue moon, I was allowed to use that. And then a friend of mine, he actually bought himself a camera. And we used to buy black and white film. Now, I say we because we chipped in to buy this film and to get it developed. So what we did, we made, we made this an actual group thing. And we made it an event amongst each other. So whenever the film was bought... We would get together, we would pick a location, and somebody would be in charge of trying to come up with these cool poses or interesting uh, backgrounds so that we could take cool black and white photos. Lo and behold, I was the one who eventually became the general in composing and, and directing everyone in certain ways so that we could take really unusual photos in black and white. One such photo was where I told everyone, look, let's jog, let's jog down this long strip of dirt. 
and it was in a it was in a park and i said we're going to jog and we're going to try to have our uh, legs coordinated so that you know the left is is moving with your friend's left leg so on and so on i wanted it to be uniformed and we didn't know how this was going to work out my friend t- takes the photo and when we finally got got it developed and now this was the big thing uh the day of of of, of these photos coming to 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 the neighborhood so that we can all watch it that was a big deal and we we actually used those rolls of film very smartly or very very economically because we went all over we went to high school with it we went to the to the park with it we did all types of we we choreographed all types of scenery or or or, or poses things so on and so on i remember there was one inside of a record store really tiny rec- record store that sold ticketmaster tickets so I remember one of my friends was buying tickets for the Pesh Mode, I believe, and I was sitting down on these wooden stairs. And back then, I had my, you know, my combat boots with the pants rolled up and the hole in the knee. And he takes a photo. So I didn't even know about this photo. So when the day came and we all got together to to look at these photos, the one where we're running through the uh, down down the strip of dirt in unison came out really really awesome i wish i still had that photo and then the one of me sitting down on this wooden on this wooden staircase came out really cool because it was in black and white it was grainy uh, you know i just looked up in, in time so i'm not you know i had like my eyebrows or one eyebrow raised up and giving them this you know somewhat cool look it wasn't on purpose it was by accident but I felt like I, I looked really cool. So since then, uh, I, I always wanted to get uh, like heavy into photography, but I just couldn't afford it. And I was 16 at this time. And then it wasn't until I, I got my first iPhone that I was able to take photos whenever I wanted. But when I look back at my first year in John F. Kennedy High School and I remember that that photography class so vividly and I still have believe it or not I still have some of those photos because it introduced me to photography on a on a different level and now I want to be reintroduced to that I do have a film camera I have a Canon AE1 and I did experiment with one roll of film and that's quite expensive it's 17 dollars to develop it so i eventually want to develop my own film all over again and do that whole process that i did in my first year of high school so i think and 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 it's too bad that they don't offer this in most high schools because it's it's so amazing and, and it really helped me even for that brief period and i wish that photography courses like that were still available to young children or to adults. I mean, basically everyone. Everyone should experience developing their own film, watching it come to life, and then showing it off to their friends. There's there's something special about that. It really is. So, as I said, next week I'll talk about the first DSLR camera that I bought, and then I'll lead up to eventually what I currently own and where that has gotten me. So as always, I am Jose Betancourt. I thank you for listening to another episode of Cheese, a photography podcast. Talk to you next week.